Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks. I uh, was able to, um, wasn't planning on doing a video today uh, just because I have a bunch of stuff that's just still in the mail, hasn't arrived yet. Um, I know shipping's been behind, um, you know, with UPS, FedEx and all of them with the holidays, COVID and all that stuff. So I wasn't really planning on doing a video because I, I have uh, something coming tomorrow uh, as well as some other things, but um, but I happened to run out to Target, went, went out, uh, grabbed some dinner, and then I was like, all right, well, Target's right here. I'll stop by quick. And then I was able to pick up some of the uh, Panini uh, Prism draft picks uh, where uh, that was it was stocked today. I stopped earlier today uh, when I was doing my little running around. Wasn't stocked. And I was like, oh, let me swing by again, too, because the one by me sometimes stocks at night. And um, happened to walk in, and I uh, pretty much just missed – Pretty much everything else they stocked. Uh, I saw one person walking out with a bunch of NBA hoops. I saw another person walking out with some Panini football, uh, Panini Prism football. And then uh, what was left uh, was this, some of the um, Panini Prism draft picks. But uh, I've already opened that. I'm not really that interested in that for myself anymore. Um, but other than that, like this is what was left. And so I wanted to pick up some of this. I mean, with it being baseball, me being predominantly baseball, you know, wanted to open up some of this. So I got two of the blasters, $20 each, and then uh, three of the uh, cello packs, uh, 15 cards per pack. Um, and then uh, one pack, 12 cards, and then a three card uh, bonus pack. So, um, you know, these were $10 each. So, um, you know, kind of like the odds here. So I try to get them focused in for you. You know, there's just all different, you know, base of the prisms and stuff like that. There's a 200-card base set. Um, you know, is this something I'm going to buy a lot of? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, you know, what we get. Um, you know, nothing guaranteed, I believe, uh, autograph-wise, uh, especially in the blasters. Um, you know, except we do have the uh, the bonus. Uh, just a three-card pack. It doesn't specify if it's like, uh, you know, like a silver prism or a green prism or something on those lines so um so let's uh open it up see what we get you know looking for some of those top draft picks from this year you know special torkelson who's the uh, the cover uh you know is uh, the one you really want to go after uh with this i believe so let's see we got uh connor phillips uh Cade Cavati, nick garcia uh tanner brooks uh, tanner burns excuse me uh, levi pratter uh aldrich uh solaire we have a uh, prism, a uh, green prism of uh, Tyler Brown from uh, Vanderbilt. Uh, just kind of seeing. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say anything you know, regarding, you know, where he was drafted. But uh, still, you know, something decent. You know, nice little, you know, sharp looking card. Uh, then we have uh, Kale Emschwaff, uh, Ian Bedell. Then we have a uh, power surge, Garrett Mitchell from uh, UCLA. Uh, a lot of these guys, you know, with the draft this year, I, I kind of paid attention to, not really paid attention to. Colton Keith then to finish that off. Um, so I couldn't really tell you where, like, a lot of these guys were drafted to, um, you know, except for a few, you know, select players. Um, you know, I'm looking for some guys that I know that were drafted by the Mets personally. So let's see. So these uh, these look to be, like, blue prisms. So we got uh, Hunter Barnhart, uh, Stevie Imwell, um, Imwell or mini ills and then uh kyle hurt so you know it doesn't really say anything about where uh who they were drafted by or anything but um you know it does show the uh the uh, collegiate team that they didn't play for um so let's uh let's do the other uh cello pack and then uh we'll get on to the blasters where there's uh 30 cards per blaster uh, let's do the fat the fatter pack first um, you know, be nice if there was some autographs in here, um, you know, if we could pull one, uh, I'd be very pleased just pulling, uh, some sort of autograph at least. Um, I did open up a little, I, I did, I'm sorry, I did purchase a little more of this, so maybe I'll do like another bonus video on this maybe, but we got, uh, Bryce Jarvis from, uh, Duke, Zach, uh, McCamberley, Nick L Lofton, Jordan, uh, De Villario, Jared Kelly, Ian Anderson, just uh you know kind of care yeah from uh from uh, Atlanta and then we do have uh our like green is uh Ian uh, Seymour from uh, Virginia Tech then we uh have a thunderstruck 
Milan Tolentino. Um, I saw this white like this at first. I thought it was actually a patch, but it is not. Um, sharp, sharp looking card though. I do like the look of the card, I must say. Uh, then we have uh, Jake Eber, or Eder. Then we have a Prism Fireworks of uh, Petey Haplin. Another uh, sharp looking card. Then we have uh, Trisha McKenzie from uh, the Cleveland Indians. Um, nice young uh, pitching prospect for them. And then uh, Kalea Rosario. Um, you know, sharp looking card. You know, really sharp looking cards, you know, personally, in my opinion. Um, you know, are they, you know, are they worth much? Probably not, but. You know, uh, I saw it. I do like, I do enjoy opening up baseball cards. So I, uh, you know, wanted to be able to open up at least a little bit of this. Um, so let's see what we got here. We got uh, Mason Wynn, Austin Hendrick, and then a power surge of Nick Gonzalez. Sharp, you know, sharp looking cards. Really sharp looking cards. So, uh, so let's, uh, you know, let's go ahead and open up one of the blasters. And, uh, you know, see what we can pull out of this. Uh, what is it? Uh, five cards per pack, six packs per box. Uh, we should... We'll be looking for one silver prism and two retail exclusive green pulsar parallels. So, um, you know, no guaranteed. Um, and then uh, blaster exclusives, the... Uh, hyper green and yellow parallels so um you know let's see what we come across uh, with this so uh hopefully we can pull something nice and uh see what happens so are these all just kind of yep so i guess they're they probably insert like one per pack so um yeah let's see what we can do all right we got uh carson tucker then we have one of the greens of uh, zach McG mccambley then we have a Bobby Miller. Then we have uh, Jeff uh, Hankerson and Colton Keith. So uh, let's do another pack. Let's see. Uh, it would be nice to at least pull like one Torkelson, um, you know. And then uh, then there's a, a Kestridge, the, the second round, the second overall pick. We got Freddie Zamora, uh, Garrett Crochet, nice uh, pitcher for the uh, White Sox. Uh, guy throws a lot of heat. Uh, then we have a Max Meyer, uh, University of Minnesota. Uh, I guess that Thunderstruck that I didn't get since he wasn't tied to a, co a collegiate team. That's why I was completely white. Um, then we got another one of Nick Lofton. Uh, and then uh, Beck Way to finish that off. So, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the, the yellow and green really pop in that. But uh, let me just uh, take a quick little look here back at that one. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, because I think he might have just been, yeah, yep, yep, no, he was, uh, no college uh, experience for himself, so that's why his was completely white, and like I said, when I saw it like that, I thought, at first I thought it was like a jersey or something, but, so, uh, you know, let's see what else we can pull out of this, all right, we got uh, Justin Lang, Anthony Walters, Mick Abel, green. Then we have, oh, there we go. We got a uh, Hessian uh, Kerstead. Uh, Fireworks, the uh, number two overall pick from the Razorbacks. And then uh, Bailey Horn to finish that off. So uh, able to get, you know, one of Hershtads, the number two overall pick by the Orioles. Um, so not bad, you know, being able to pull one of those. Um, definitely would like to see, see if I could pull some, like, Pete, uh, Pete Crow Armstrong, you know, being a, a Met fan. I know I did purchase uh, one of the uh, the inserts of his just to, just to kind of you know maybe start a little bit of a PC for him. Uh, I'm planning on also doing a mail day for you guys too, um, just because it's been hard to find some product and show you some things I've been buying just for like PCs and stuff. So Casey Smith, Ian Seymour, looks like to be like a, a prism. Yep, it is. Then we have uh, Carter uh, Balmo. Then we have uh, AJ Vinich, and then a power surge of Anthony Sabato. So, um, you know, sharp, sharp cards, you know. Uh, two packs left in this blaster, and then, uh, you know, see what, we can, see what we can pull out of this. So, uh, we got another green coming up, at least. We got, uh, so we got Nick Gonzalez, 
and we got a uh, we got we got one of the green fireworks of Heston Kirstead. So uh, match up with that fireworks. So that's nice. Very nice pull there. Um, don't really know exactly, uh, you know, kind of what some of these prism cards are going for. If it was if these were Bowman cards, they would be going for a lot more. Um, but you know, with them being Panini products, they're not going to go quite for as much. So we got Alex Santos uh, prism. Then we have uh, Thomas Gerard for Duke, and then uh, Kale Eschmoff. Uh, just uh, no, yeah, no college uh, tied to him. So. So last pack of that first blaster, we were able to get two uh, Heston uh, Kirschheads, which uh, I'm very pleased about. If we can get a Torkelson out of here, you know, even if it's just the base Torkelson, I'll be very happy. Uh, Jackson Miller, and then uh, looks like we, ooh, oh man, that's kind of a bummer uh, in a way, but we have uh, Heston Kirkstead autograph, green autograph out of this. Uh, very nice, but the thing is, there's some ink on the back of the card. Um, I don't know, game used pen? I don't know. Kind of a joke there, but you know, but uh, leave it in the comments if you have any uh, any, any thoughts on that, if, it, uh, if you think it's going to ruin the, uh, the card. Um, because I've never, I've never encountered it where I've had some ink on the back of the card, but, uh, but I'm pleased with this blaster, I will say. Um, very pleased, actually. You know, the uh, the number two overall pick. Um, I mean, we're pulling a crazy amount of him right now. So, pretty cool, actually. Um, so, like I said, just you know, leave me uh, you know, leave any comments if you ever if you've if you've ever come across anything like that as well. Um, but to finish that pack off, we got uh, Zach Veen. Uh, then we have Ian Bedell. Be deal, and then uh, Garrett Mitchell to power uh, surge to finish that off. So, um, so let's see, uh, let's see what we got going on here in this last blaster box. Uh, very happy to pull an auto. Um, yeah, very very pleased I'm pulling that auto actually. Uh, pleasantly supplied, pleasantly surprised. Excuse me. Um, but still, I would love to pull, be able to pull at least one Torkelson, um, even if it's some sort of, you know, like insert or something like that. But Steve Emanuels, Kyle Hurt, then we have a uh, uh, Aussie Lacey, Thunderstruck, Texas A&M, sharp looking card. I mean, that's a, that's a really sharp looking card, though. Um, you know, too bad I can't, you know, tell you much about him, but um, sharp looking card. Trent Palmer, and then uh, Jake Vogel to finish off that first pack. So let's see, uh, let's see what we got going on here now. All right, we got Nick Gonzalez, Power Surge. Uh, RJ Dabovic. Dabovic. Then we have a uh, Casey Martin, Prism, Sharp Card. Uh, Jeff Griswell and Ed Howard, so. Uh, this will put us at the halfway point of this second blaster. Let's see here. We got uh, Case Williams and uh, Prism of uh, Jordan Wigo and another Carson Taylor. Then we have uh, Trey Cruz and uh, Jordan Westberg. So um, not too bad. Um, like I said, a lot of these guys I have to personally do my research on. Um, would have uh, loved to have my one friend here to kind of go over some with me because uh, I know he's uh, he, he pays way close attention to the prospects. So we got uh, Robert Hassel, uh, Thunderstruck, uh, you know, with him not being tied to a uh, collegiate team. Then we have uh, Chase Antle, Green Prism. Then we have uh, Owen Kiasi. We have uh, Casey Martin again and Owen Cassie again. So, uh, sharp cards. I mean, I, must, I will say I do love the look of uh, the prism uh, on these uh, cards. You know, just like, you know, I know I've mentioned it numerous times, but I love all chrome 
So we got uh, Milan Tolentino, and then it uh, looks like we got another uh, possibly hit. Uh, Tristan McKenzie, uh, numbered six out of 50, autograph. Sharp, sharp autograph. Um, I really like his autograph. I really like his autograph. Um, and then the, uh, you know, the sharp, uh, the, you know, just the sharp look to the card, you know, um, you know, granted it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, Panini, there's no MLB teams, no collegiate, uh, uniforms. I mean, luckily they are allowed to use the, you know, the, the school name, but, uh, Trisha McKenzie, six out of 50, um, very pleased with that. And then, uh, Zach Daniels, uh, Prism Fireworks. Uh, then we got Max Meyer and Kyle Nicholas to finish that off. So last pack of this opening. Uh, opening kind of a little longer than I anticipated it going, actually. I thought I was going to kind of breeze through these, but uh, some, of these, um, some of these hits have been really good, I've actually. Uh, here we go. We got a Pete Crow Armstrong. I'm very happy with this, uh, mostly just for you know my PC. Uh, being a Met fan, so we were able to get a Pete Crow Armstrong. Very happy pulling that at least. I was able to at least get one of his. Would have loved to be able to pull, you know, one of his little base cards, but um, very happy pulling that at least. Then we have uh, Hudson Haskin, um, sharp looking green prism. Then we have uh, Max Meyer again. And all right, well, here we go. Um, nice little end to this pack. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we do get a Pete Crow Armstrong uh, base. Uh, I know he. I know he did not have any uh, co uh, collegiate uh, team tied to him. He uh, uh, was drafted right out of uh, high school, um, out of California. Uh, I personally don't remember the exact name of the high school, but uh, very nice being able to pull that as well. Uh, then our final card is a C. J. Van Eck uh, from Florida State. So. Um, I'm pretty pleased with this, uh, honestly. I was able to get three Kirk Skeds of green fireworks, base fireworks, and then his autograph, uh, not numbered, with the, the smear. Like I said, you know, please leave any comments on that if you guys know anything about that. If it hurts grading or anything like that uh, as well, potentially. Um, and then uh, Trisha McKenzie, uh, sharp, you know, out of 50. Um, very nice. So with that, guys, please leave any comments. Please leave a like if you like what you saw, and uh, please, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the notification bell so you get up if you get you get notifications on all my future videos. So, with that, I want to thank everybody for taking the time for watching the video, and have a great night.